really ambling his way to the setup. And now Charlie finally making his way back. While these two get set up, let's just look up the set history between the two of them real quick. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. You can indeed. <laughs> The last time <clears throat> we saw Charlie, he was outranging people with a forward, uh, with a down angled forward tilt. However, he is facing the master of range, Shulk, in his next endeavor. Mm -hmm. All right, so looking it up in this particular quarter. Oh, well. So game one of Grand Finals, Nico sitting on loser's side after dropping a set to Vladin earlier. Got his revenge, but has to face Charlie now. You know, it's funny, regardless of the final score that it reports on 2GG, the stocks from player one and player two are 48 and 49. So these have all been fairly close games. Interesting to see how this one plays out. Actually, it looks like this is the first time that these two have faced off in the current PR season, so. One of these two will have the bragging rights and go 1-0 up on the other one. We'll have to see who it is. Right now, it's looking like Charlie has an early advantage, 60% in the lead, but Nico going to make some of that up real quick. Bit of a daring flash there, especially considering Nico was at very high percent and Charlie. didn't have shield art active. With the parry into up two. Of course, Charlie has been honing his skills against the likes of Kome and other top shulks over at Switchfest. He knows how potent and difficult to play around this character can be. And look at that. Smash Art coming out. And even after whiffing that Wolf Flash, Shulk with a bit of rage at 142%. Nico and Charlie was only a shade over 70% himself, but with a Smash Art F Smash, that's more than enough. Lands with a reverse nair though. Gets that ending hitbox of dash attack. Down tilt, not gonna catch him. Had enough invulnerability at that high percent and he's gonna mash out of the grab too. Smasher coming out, drops down one of the dare. Perhaps to rob him of a second stock, but that foot coming in from the back air. It's frame 19, so has to deal with a bit of startup there, but nevertheless, it's going to be the first stock gone. That smash is perhaps a bit ill-advised. The shield arts cutting Charlie's string short. And Charlie's already made this percent up, although that getup attack will put Nico in the lead once more. <coughs> F-Sit will get him back off stage. Has to use the jump art. Looking for the back air. It's there. Oh, and he just gets the hard call out with the F-Smash, though. For the second time this set, and the second time this game, it's going to be an F smash robbing Charlie of another stock. For the, the second time, also angling it upwards to make sure to catch the jump. There's that and gets the air slash out of shield. Up tilt will send him up, but not quite high enough. Sweet spot of dash attack. Down tilt will put him back off stage. He's going to into the grab. Although he went nowhere. Look at <laughs> look at how that shield art is putting in the work. At percents like these, I wouldn't even put it behind Wolf to just get a back throw at anywhere on the stage. Instead, he's going to get the Nair to mitigate that second stock. But look at this. Smash art is already out. And with another F smash, both hits connecting. Was on the wrong side of the stage to get the kill, but wasn't too far off. Nico trying to get the up smash read. Up tilt, not going to connect with anything, and that's going to be an up throw up air, but the shield art comes out, so not as much damage on that up air as he would have liked. 
fair. One going to connect. Rolls away out of that one. Another up throw into up air. And Charlie Singh at 131% might go for a bit of rage. Something might be to his advantage here. Uses the flash to make it back. Although with the help of that smash art has to say goodbye to that game one. The back throw at 130% easily going to do it. And just a quick run it back from Nico. Nico gonna... looking to reset the bracket here. Taking game one all with the smash attack. Or with the smash Monado. Not only with smash art, with a lot of rage to boot. And Nico just putting this character on display to the world. The last time these two met was at Mega Smash Monday's number 192, where Nico actually did get double eliminated by Charlie. And I believe that's the only time in the past few months that these two have met within the same region. Although, look at that, he got two framed by that. Oh, and he misses the tech! And without the jump art, that's going to be the end of Nico's first stock. Just a bit of misplay there, and has to pay the ultimate price. Constantly pressuring that platform with the up tilts. A lot of frames wasted with a counter there. Just gonna wait in place and chase him off stage with the shield art. Good angle on the firewolf, but catches him right as he's going to the ledge. Was just that a two frame would up B? I believe he did. <laughs> just enough knock knockback to get him to that top corner. Up throw from Charlie. And with the shield art. I like the awareness. He knew that that shield art would be coming out, so instead of going high for an up air, went for an up tilt instead. Got his damage where he could find it. Charlie's about to have to get creative, come up with these custom combos to punish Nico using the shield art. This time a different combo and a different art's going to be coming out. One of the fair flash, but a bit too early there. Smash art coming out and uses the flash, not taking any chances. Down tilt with a reverse nair. Ooh, a bit too early. Slash out of shield in the other direction, though. Up here to get him out of tumble, but the back air going huh. to send Nico <laughs> off of that. And out of nowhere, seemingly, Charlie the King has Nico onto his final stop. Up throw into nothing in particular. Look at these approaching nares from Nico. Has the smash art, so. He's willing to play this high-risk game. Although, look at Nico. He's doing this the same way Valadin was doing it in the prior sets, playing defensively, knowing that it's an option that he doesn't have to risk. Look at these up-air strings, though, from Charlie, putting Nico up to 73%. He goes low. Still got caught by the air slash. Nico with the up B out of shield, regaining stage control. Protecting himself. Oh, he got popped up by the Firewolf. It is a multi-hit, so he only parried the second to last hit. Even parrying the penultimate hit, though, got hit with a final one. Although the back air over the laser hops over that and still setting out 104%, but with a bit of rage and not wasting the smash art, this could easily be Nico's game. Flash not going to do it. He's facing backwards. A couple smash versions ago, that multi-hit would have been parried instantly. Up smash, up special, out of shield. Can air this time and goes with that sweet spot back air, though. Charlie the King evening this up. It's going to be 1-1. And Charlie making Nico look like a weakling there. going to be even up. Of course, these two haven't fought in a while. The last time they did was in Season 2, and we're more than two months into Season 3 here, so a 
bit of an unfamiliar territory, at least as far as bracket goes, but that's not going to stop the two of them. They have faced other opponents within the same character. Fair not able to get anything off of it. Spot dodge into nothing, but good parry into F-Tilt from Nico. F-Throw misses the tech, and that's going to be prime opportunity for a down tilt. And look at this. All this damage that he put on with the Buster Art. Looking for the fair at the ledge there. Quick dash attack into the up air. There's Parry that. into the F-Tilt. We've seen that twice now. And for the first time, really, we saw Charlie try and two-frame with a down smash. It's a bit risky, and he drifted way too far to the right. Perhaps not way too far, but just out of the range of that wolf flash. But gets the back air. No harm, no foul. Good awareness from Charlie there. Not going for the F-Tilt, knowing he still had invincibility. And as you saw, that awareness coming out, instead of going for an up air off of the two fairs, went for a grab instead with that shield art coming out. Charlie tagging on 78% unanswered. Charlie in this particular matchup just has two different modes of playstyle. When the shield art is available, not necessarily activated, but available, he's playing a certain way and he's playing a different way when that 18 second cooldown is still there. Up smash, not going to do it. Both of these two characters do have up smashers that scoop from a fair distance away, so going to have to be careful. Answering with the short hop back there. Backslash going to do it, but calls out the normal getup with the F-Tilt. And here we can get this fair string going. All aboard the fair train. Spot dodges around the dash attack, although look at the, this reversal from Charlie. Charlie is really making these adaptations. Air dodges into that one, though. Landing in the air and tech chases with a down smash. Nico sitting at 116%. That air dodge, quite, quite active. Returns back on stage now. Although the back air as he drifts downward. Throws him back forward. Parries that. That will lead to his passageway off of the platform. Although one up smash onto shield will just lead to Nico's own up smash out of shield. And Charlie cannot get cocky here. Even after enjoying a percent lead and change, this is down to final stock. Anything can take it. Look at Charlie just contemplating his options on top of the platform and just bypass the ledge. Smash art coming out. And the up air. Actually, Nico taking a lot more knockback with the smash art activated and almost certainly wouldn't have killed without it, but Nico had to go for the riskier option there and unfortunately not going to pay off in that particular situation. Charlie the King is only one game away from taking this entire tournament. Neither player having a problem with PS2. Seems as if the last three sets have just been PS2 and PS2 only. Mm -hmm. Nico is going to switch skins, so he's going to that blue and red shulk instead with a bit of a black hair. Charlie sticking with his default purple wolf. Although went very daring <laughs> with a smash art F smash. Down angled as well. I'm not sure if that two frames. I'm not quite sure if it does either, but it dips a fair distance far out from the ledge. So if Charlie's not recovering inward, rubbing up against the stage, that might catch him anyway without the two frame. Back throw. As that shield, or as the speed art is waning, however, gets the F tilt. Charlie just taking the time to compose himself after that because that was a rough first stock for him. Parry into dash attack. How ranging Shulk with the F2. Back here on top of the platform. Even with the speed spot, Shulk's still living for now. Tech rolls out, gets the parry, but the down tilt was facing the wrong way. And a bit of a DDZ there. Nico is making some of these adaptations fairly well and returns on stage with the Buster Art added fair. Bit of flavor to that aerial attack. 
Lucky now with the air slash out of shield. Frame, I believe frame 10 or something ridiculous like that. Waiting art that... Wow, that sent him nowhere. It really did. That, look at how much these arts are putting in the work for Nico. Goes off stage with the fair. And now Charlie is down three stocks to one. Has another game to play with, but doesn't want to bring it to that if he can help it. Good two frame with the F tilt. Nico nearing at just the proper distance to cover almost every option. Approaches with the fair. I believe Charlie doesn't like his chances when he has the speed art out, so he just seems to wait, whether it's on platforms or the or the heaven platform. Although he misses the tech, and that's going to be an easy conversion. Even manages to two frame with the F tilt as well. Got the fair flash. Nico must not get too ambitious if he switches to the smash art. Could get caught by anything in sense. Carry into down tilt, and that did trip, so he could tech chase there. Oh, and Charlie's just going to be out of a jump, and I believe that air dodge just shifted his hurt box to that blast zone. Nico's going to force a decisive game five. Excellent work to him. This has just been a tug of war of a set, back and forth. As soon as one person gains the upper hand, an immediate response comes in from the other. And this one will be for all of the marbles. Is it going to be Charlie's game without a reset? Or Nico sending this to a reset. Once again, it's going to be PS2. The entire set has been played on this one stage. Fair and up air. F tilt, another up throw and up air, but the shield art will mitigate some of the damage. F tilt in the opposite direction. And now look at Charlie, he's throwing out the blasters to just force him to approach. Daring him to hop over, just conditioning to short hop in any particular situation which Charlie can meet him with. Wolf's aerials are generally faster than Shulk, so if he can make his way in, Nico just needs to stuff that out meanwhile. Goes off stage, and Charlie without a jump, that's going to be the end of his first stock. Nico did take a considerable amount of damage, but he's in the lead for the time being. And now Nico can really start to get this something going. Rolls out of the way of that. F throw. And he saw the red sparks from the F tilt there, but not quite the kill that he was looking for. He's still living at 162%. Trades with the up air, but finally going to do it. Drops through the platform with an air. And now the speed art comes out from Nico. Down tilt. No, we're not quite. Only got a few hitboxes off of the air before he landed, but another one will put him back out. Did conserve the jump, so he's going to be making it back safely, but the back air with the smash art. And this has gone from bad to worse for Charlie. He does manage to tech chase with a dash attack. Charlie turning it up with some good strings. But right now, this is looking like Nico's game to lose. F throw. Here he is, stalling out the speed art. Looking at he's waiting on top of the platform, as you said there. Even with his own shield dwindling, just knows that he has to force Nico to approach. And with the amount of times, although his own shield is looking really low now. Returns with an air. It's such a large and active hitbox. Wanted the fair to end it early. Oh, and he chased him off stage with the fair, killing him so early with a bit of rage and a lot of daringness. Nico takes game five and is going to force the reset. Nico getting extremely ambitious off stage with no sort of hesitation, knowing that he has two stocks left. Hand and palm there from Charlie, knowing that he could have just played so much, so much better there down the line, but. That's just what a character and a player like Nico can do with a character like Shulk. Charlie just took his last sip of water. He was saving that, especially for this moment. The last set of the night. As this reset begins, 
Charlie has an early percent lead, and with Buster, both these both of these characters are gonna take a bit more than normal. Lands with an air into the grab and gets the conversion wow. into the back air too. Nico is gonna be said careening into that side blast zone, and Charlie's looking so clean to begin this. Only taking 11% there on his first stock. This oh, is the tech though. Here come the nair strings. Waits that out in the F tilt into the laser. One dash tech going to connect with the sweet spot. Even on the second one, he will get a fair uh, an F tilt seconds after, as well as a couple of uh, up airs. But oh, and he's out of a jump. Has to use the air dodge to make it back, and just not enough verticality on the firewolf. And that is the biggest hindrance to the character. So many fast aerials, so many potent kill options from Wolf, but when you're caught in disadvantage and you're off stage, it just makes recovering so difficult. Charlie must wait out the two aerials off stage and then recover with his jump. Oni went for the Nair as well, and that will poke him off stage, so Nico's going to be down to that last stock. There's that the up throw into the short hop up air this time. This is the tech on that. Charlie tried to get the roll in read with the Nair. Fair into fair, and look at the string from Charlie, unrelenting. Double fair, double up air into the reflector. Charlie playing furiously right now. But if he's going to play furious, Nico's going to play fast with the speed art. And that backslash, just a bit of a misinput there. You could tell he probably wanted the, wanted the air slash. And that special just in the wrong direction. So on to game two. Bit of an uncharacteristic mistake there from Charlie. Or from Nico, rather. You know that a player such as Nico's caliber rarely makes those mistakes, but that misinput was already down, so would have had a hard time making it back. But hard is nothing compared to impossible, which is the task that Nico set for himself with a backslash. But has to put that behind him as we approach on to game two. Fair into fair. Another Nair onto Shield, though, so that won't be doing too much. Gets rid of it as well. He's been using Shield not necessarily offensively, but just as a combo breaker. And he's out of a jump. This could be the end. Interrupts that whole flash just in startup, and Nico takes the first stock fairly early. Taking a deep breath there. Taking the time to compose himself. Reconsidering neutral. There into Nair this time. You know, that, that shield art is straight up a momentum killer. That's that's what it should be called. Not enough distance on the dash attack because Nico did miss the tech. Harry into nothing. Got the Etzel, so had a slight reward there, but... Bear was considering the flash. Just knew that he was too high of a damage and too much percent to even consider that. Gets him into the grab, though. Air slash out of shield from Nico. And now at 58%, taken onto that second stock. Although that roll great, into the up smash. Great up smash read there. It just covered so many options. Just an attack in place, as well as that roll to the right. Only thing that would have saved him is a jump or a roll to the left. And I guess shield would have as well, but I'm not quite sure if he had the frames to pull that out. Firewolf's him back and has to use that air dodge to make it back. And once again, he interrupts that wolf flash as it's during its startup. Nico just knows when certain options offstage are happening, and he has each one snuffed out. Firewolf's just into another aerial. Baron in air. He's patrolling the entire stage. Tech Chase was the down tilt this time. Wanted the hard call out with the F smash. Although finally gets his reward. Sour spots in the wolf flash, but that's enough to carry him off the side. Smash. 
And now the Smash Art's coming out. Back here almost doing it at 86%. Charlie recovering fairly low, looking to not get hit by one of those aerials. And now that Charlie's down in percents, we might see a bit of a suicidal option he might go for there on last go. stock. Ooh. Two framed another time. <laughs> Manages to make it back, but as soon as he does, picks the wrong get-up option and gets met with that immediate swinging back air from Nico. Game two is in the books for him. I believe Charlie has found the answer to getting edge guarded. He has begun recovering low. However, he did get caught by Schultz's long-reaching 360 Nair. Yeah, a lot of Nico's best edge guarding has come when Charlie's been already out of his jump. He's been forced to air dodge and recover a bit more predictably in those situations. If he's too horizontal or if he's too low, then he'll have to go for a Wolf Flash or a Fire Wolf respectively. And Nico knows how to meet each of those individual options. throw. Shield once again, it's just instinctive at this point. Right before that up air can come out, just mitigates the damage. You know, the speed and the and the jump art might as well be uh, might as well be shields as well, since they help them maneuver out of the combos. Still had invulnerability, so that f tilt won't connect, but Nico now regains stage control. be one to relinquish it without a fight but as I say it that fair gonna take him off stage had the angle with the backslash but they're gonna sour spot in the dash attack Nico with the aerial into the spot dodge he's gonna hold shield for a bit and they both approach at the same time but Charlie's dash attack will take priority there Nico gonna lose that first dock Grab coming right after the shield arc came out. Good awareness from Charlie. Smasher comes out though. Has to be careful about pressuring the shield. And once again, he's playing off stage to just get rid of that. That timer is just going to... S the sands have run out on the hourglass for that and it's just going to be sent right back into cooldown. Air slash out of shield. Carries that. And gets two fares in a row. One of the back air to be the coup de gras, but... Gonna trade with a dash attack this time. Nico uses the jump art to make it back. All the tools in his disposal are gonna be met with another F tilt, but makes it back with an approaching option. Smash art is back, but puts it back in the pocket for now. Knows that he too is at high enough of a percent where a certain smash art aerial might seal it for him, but won't even have to deal with that as he does manage to get something on the board here over two minutes in. Oh, and once again, conserved his jump so was able to make it back safely two consecutive rolls from Charlie and he's just gonna deploy that back oh once again he's out of a jump and if you're hearing that on the mic we can only apologize he's just so clearly aggravated desperately looking for the back air to tie up his stocks here one edge guard from Nico is all this needs to be in his favor Although Charlie looking to tilt it back. You know, Shulk literally voids uh, Wolf's recoveries, making him look like he got Little Max recovery. Speed art comes out for Nico. Oh, he just dashed back in the face of that up smash. Get up attack, we'll make it back. And look at this ground speed with shield art, oh, with speed art activated. Nico is just missing all of these options. He's so evasive. F throw, even with the smash art activated, a bit much of an ask, but look at the fair. He went down so far, and that's going to be a two stock in game three. Charlie is just so annoyed. You know, fairs in this game tend to cover about 180 degrees in front of you. However, Schultz covers about 270. Look at this. Just the energy draining out from him. Has to search within himself for the answers. Pumping himself up, though. 
Letting it all out, regaining composure. What does he have left in the tank? We're gonna see right here. He whipped out a whole nother water bottle. He still has a lot left in the tank. Waiting out the speed art. He doesn't like that matchup. He's not engaging. Up throw. But once again from Nico, the shield art will come out to interrupt the up throw up air. If he's on top of the platform, of course, won't have the down throw dash attack as a simple option. And Nico know there's only one timing that Charlie's going to even attempt to go for. I would love to see Charlie just zone him out with some neutral Bs. Once again, out of the frying pan, into the fire. Charlie enraged at the moment, but playing with that chip on his shoulder. Here's Slash getting him right as he wanted to make it back. And Nico's just playing so immaculately right now. There's just nothing Charlie can do about this tidal wave of momentum that's headed his way. His frustration is just so palpable. Forward throw misses the tech, so does get a free down smash. Up tilt will cover the entire platform from Nico, but was holding shield. It's such a monstrous opponent. Second dash attack. No, not even that is going to do it. And it had to expend that air slash a bit early to make it back. It does go a bit forward, but Charlie was ready and waiting with the F tilt. Although, look at that. He did have his jump, so will be able to make it back. Returns for the fair, and now another up throw up air interrupted by the shield art once more. Like, we're rinse and repeating. It's like we're seeing Groundhog Day here. You know what? I believe Charlie would have a lot of success taking Nico off stage as well. Shulk's off stage uh, game isn't the strongest when it comes to him being at the disadvantage state. It can be. It just is a matter of what arts he has left, but pops him off the top with the up smash and 84% after the hit. That's just the disadvantage of smash art. No matter how much you do, no matter how much added knockback you have, you're just going to be taking even more in return. Although he is frustrated, he's still very much in this. With two stocks remaining, Charlie looking to take this to a game five. He's within touching distance of taking this game now. Rapid jab from Nico. Although that being said, he has been able to get another fair string started. Good parry and a down tilt. Another parry. Charlie has just been impeccable with some of these parries, but the back air going to send him off the side. Still 65% ahead. Has to not get tilted here. If he can keep calm and play his game, that is the ticket for taking this to a game five. Another parry. Charlie impeccable with the parries into the F tilt. Another dash attack. It covered just three different options there. The neutral get up, the get up attack, and the roll. As well as the aerial that Nico went with. Might have traded in that particular situation. Although that aerial is not gonna hit anything and Charlie got an F tilt for free. Up smash a bit risky, but at mid percent, Nico's not going to get too much of a punish. There and the you go. second we are going time, to game five. got the sweet spot on the bear. This is a decisive game 10 between the two of them. Winner take all. Nico against Charlie the King. Nico, of course, forcing the reset after he lost in winner semis to Valadin, clawing his way all the way back through the bracket. You know, I actually really want to see Charlie win because this pop-off will be insane. It will. It will be crazier than Nico's after his win over PR device. Everything at stake here. Game 10, Charlie sitting on two wins in this set. Nico sitting on two wins in this set. And this could go either way. Charlie has the early advantage, but again, Nico's just been so good at interrupting these up throw up airs with his own shield art. It not only gets rid of some of the damage, it puts him back onto stage. 
Good DI as well. Just drifts around the forward air too. Nico had been so willing to throw that out and Charlie finally caught on. Wanted to go for another fair off of that, but until we'll catch him as the ledge. Wanted to go for the down air. And he conserved his jump. Nico did not tech. That'll be to his detriment. Although he just got red on the roll with the back air. This is going to be another two stock match. Nico draws first blood in the second stock, but he's going to be able to continue it actually. Charlie with a fair into Nair. Going to drift back, and now Nico's just respecting that, knows that Charlie is going to be drifting back to avoid some of these fares, and he'll just take stage control in response. You know, I would not be surprised if on one of these, Nico switches to his speed art and catches that drift back. Oh, look, though, look at this smash art coming out. And even that almost did it. You got the sour spot on the back air, luckily for Charlie. Trying to go for the re, Jumps gets up. hit with an air. Jumps over Fair. the up smash, mm. went high, used the double jump to try and get the dare, but... Nico so patient, and this is so tense. This could be waiting it out on the platform. There you go, recovering low. Smash Safest arc. option. What? He knows he's looking for the back here, but he can't help but go for a fair. And Charlie is down to his final stock of this set. Sweet spots the dash attack, though. Puts Nico up to 94%. Has him back into the grab. Does snap the ledge perfectly, but that up smash out of shield. Sent him. Down smash might have been a bit too laggy. He might have had time to pop up his shield just in time, but off smash scoop from a much greater distance, and even though it didn't kill, it's just going to put him up to 140%. Dash attack, not enough range, but had enough time to get the rapid jab in. Back, back throw, throw, back throw. There you go. There you go. Recycles that second stock, and we are down to a last hit game 10. Fair. He thought the shield was coming out, which is why he went for the up tilt. Finally get the face cam going as we'll be seeing this pop off from either player momentarily. Look at this. Fair into fair. One of the flash. Coming down to the last hit here. Is Charlie going to roll the dice? Is he going to go for another suicidal option? Is he going to play it safe? What's Nico going to do in response? Trading aerials there. Gets a safe return to the ledge. Interrupted. And he got the wolf Ooh. flash. That almost did it. Almost closed it out in style there. But Nico sitting at 113%. Going to be an easy target for a... Whip grab. Forward throw. And he misses the tech. The F tilt almost did it too. And he caught him at the ledge with the F tilt. He's going to be sent towards that right blast zone. And Charlie with a marathon Jeez. game 10 gets his victory and a well deserved pop off as well. As a round of applause comes in from the spectators, Nico. Charlie having the best week of his life, winning two nights in a row. Unstoppable. You cannot stop this man from winning. You can only hope to contain him. Excellent work to Charlie to King takes it number nine.